Hello, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. And we're gonna continue with this space that's over here. I wanna try and get this section that's like right over here. I'm trying to get that all gone so we can at least get to the bed. So let's see, where can we get started at? So we can start right here. This is an empty Ziploc bag. Okay, it's a gallon size Ziploc bag. Um, okay, yeah, we start off with that right off the bat. Now, normally, I would have um, kept this for organizing things, or I would have had some kind of reason to be like, I can use this and keep it. Before today, I actually have gallon bags in the drawer and stuff like that. I'm actually going to toss this. I'm going to try and change some ways and not save every gosh darn little thing. Let's see. So over here we have, oh, we have some books. Books. Oh, they're little religious books and stuff like that. Oh, I got a lot of books over here. Mommy and me. Let me see. These are mazes. Oh, my kids like the mazes. Okay. And little, oh, dinosaur workbooks. All right. Let's see. What else do we got? We also got little word match and stuff like that. And we have a little coloring book. Oh, that's cute. So we're going to continue with what we've been doing and we're going to go straight over here to, hmm, running out of space in my books, but trying to keep all the books together so we can really, wow, okay, let me do this. So we can really just start to keep everything together and, hmm, I guess I can stick that right up there. Perfect. There we go. That's perfect. And over here we have... Food, food to the kitchen. So right now I'm gonna try and keep that in the overflowing kitchen. That should probably be the next thing that I do. I really should work on this kitchen so that way I can start getting stuff together over there. This is a, one of those little boxes, has a bunch of little things in there. Um, I will get to the boxes. Oh man, there is a lot of little stuff in there. I will get to the boxes, but I kinda right now for this video really wanna get this little area cleaned. So, oh, another empty shoe box. Okay, we can, we can toss it, we can toss it. I was gonna save it for organizing different things. But something that I realized that I forgot that I actually have was a toy organizer, which I'll show. It is actually over there. See how it has, I started already putting ones with Nerf guns and the balls and all kinds of stuff just so I can start sorting. I actually got that at a yard sale. Gosh, when did I get that? Probably last year I got it at a yard sale for like 12 bucks. So um, I would love, I can't wait to make that functional. So because I actually have a little thing of trays over there where I can start organizing stuff, I'm actually gonna toss this box out. There's no reason to keep this box. And let's see, this is Mega Box Paw, but these are actually Paw Patrol ones. So these are the Mega Box. My, probably got this a few years ago. But look, here's some more of the pieces too. And here's Marshall. So I think what I'll do is, oh, I got a lot of the pieces here. We're gonna go ahead. Oh, look at that trash. I got some trash right here. This goes to the Paw Patrol. So I think what I'll do is I'll keep this all together. That way I can um, see if my son wants it. If not, maybe I'll clean them off really nice and sell them. So we'll just try and keep all that kind of stuff together. And then, oh. This is like a little, one of those little spot stickman thing. These are the things that you can do on your, I think it was like a, an app and you can pose them and make him move and stuff like that. And you know, I'm not gonna throw that away. <laughs> I'm gonna put in that little side box. We have to go through all these old things. This, uh, you know what this was? This used to go to Squinkies. This was for my oldest son. This is pretty old. Do I still have Squinkies in there? No, I don't see anything. But this went to Squinkies and you put the little coin in and little Squinkies would come out. It was really cute, like a little gumball machine toy. But um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and like donate this because there's really, or, or trash it really. I mean, I don't have the top or the Squinkies at the moment, but for now I'll just put it in a donation um, bin right now because they don't play with this and they're probably not gonna play with that. And let me see, these are some more of the Lego pieces over here, let me see. This, oh, this goes to it too. So here's some little Lego pieces, not Lego pieces, I forget what these are called, but I do have a lot of these and I actually have um, one of those little tray things over there actually does have 
um, I'm holding them to keep them all together. So we'll go ahead and put that there. And what is, it? oh gosh. Oh, this is from Pets. So they probably got this in the McDonald's thing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and donate that because they haven't really played with that. What is this? You know what all these pieces go? And I'll have to get these all together. This goes to a Blaze track machine. So it, was a, it got Blaze and the monster machines and it was like his little track and stuff like that. So I'll have to keep them together and see what to do. This was a bag to little people, the zoo animals. Um, I know the zoo animals are in here because believe it or not, well, no, you believe it. There are baby toys on the other side of this room. And I know all the little animals went in here. So I'll go ahead and do that. This is, oh, one of those little, um, those little speaky books. Oh, still works. All right, so that's one of those little Toy Story, little sound books. So I'll put it in books so that way at a later time we can really, wow, we have a lot of books. We can really start sorting and seeing which ones we're gonna keep and which ones we're gonna get rid of. Oh my gosh, what is back here? Bouncy balls, Skylander pieces, and um, oh, Peppa Pig's airplane. So I have my Peppa Pig's uh, area. And I actually see Peppa Pig over here. And here is Peppa Pig. So we will go ahead and oh, we'll go ahead and put that with our Peppa Pig section. And let's see, yeah, these are some bouncy balls. I have a bouncy ball or a ball section over in the organizer that I'll put them in. This is a Skylander. We actually do have boxes. I actually do have um, a, an organizer that keeps all the Skylander guys. A uh, broken Merry Christmas trash. That's easy to decide. And this is a little metal ball that actually will go to that uh, Ziploc bag that has all the magnet stuff. So that has a hem. And we got, oh, we got the Batman, a uh, little Gotham City toy thing right here. And I think, hmm, I'm trying to think what I'd do with this because I feel like he would play with this if he could have access to it. So if he actually had access to it, we could probably play with it. If not, I know some, I know a little boy who would actually really love this. So maybe we'll just give it to him. I don't know yet. I'll, I would like to give it to him though, to give it to the little boy. He'll, he would like this and play with this more than my own. I'm gonna put it right over there. And then we have this, which I know I'm not getting rid of. It's their sound machine toy. They love this. If they knew that this was in here, they'd be playing with it now. This is their sound machine toy. They do love that so much. And then what do we got over here? Oh, another magnet tile thing. So we know we could put that with this. Uh, glitter star. I think this went to one of my projects that I was doing. I belonged to a Mops Mommy group and it was like a starry eyed or whatever. And this was one of the stars, but you know, that was last year's theme. This is a new theme this year. So we'll go ahead and toss the star and <gasps> brand new markers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are brand new markers. So um, we'll put that in the art box that I had started. I started an art box, but oh my gosh, my, we go through so many markers and stuff because the caps get forgotten to be uh, put back on and we throw them out and uh, trash. Yay, that was easy. Gumball machine. So this is the last one. Um, my son loves the gumball machines. Is it broke? Oh, it broke. The spinny thing broke. Ah, uh, so that means it does not work. So what happens when it does not work? We toss it, I can't fix this. There's no way I can fix this, that knob thing broke. So we'll go ahead and um, toss that. I gotta make sure my son doesn't see that cause he would be upset. And hey, we got a nice little space right here that can be like vacuumed up really quick. So that's great. We made a nice little progress right here. And I think I'm gonna end it right here. And thank you guys so much for watching and um, I'll see you later. Thanks, bye.